So on today's episode of Thoughts on Tenerife, we're going to speak with Carsten. Carsten and Birgit bought uh, an apartment in Player Failure Bay, and uh, it wasn't actually that long ago from when we're recording. Birgit can't make it, um, but we're talking to Carsten. He's at home in Denmark. So, uh, Carsten, when did you actually complete and buy your property in Tenerife? Well, we've, we looked at the apartment on the 7th of November yeah. last year and uh, it was a very condensed process and then we bought the apartment on the 21st of November 2019, uh, so very condensed uh, and uh, we had then seven days to stay in the apartment where we just uh, wanted to realize what change, which changes we wanted to uh, to actually do when we came down next time. Of course. And uh, when we came down next time, which was in uh, the, at the end of January and stayed there for seven weeks and we used most of the time to put the uh, personal touch uh, to the apartment, uh, you know, uh, buying some stuff for the walls and replacing some uh, images uh, which we did not like, uh, put some uh, personal uh, furniture into the apartment and so on and so forth. But, uh, you know, it was a very, very nice apartment, so we didn't uh, need a lot of changes. Mm-hmm. Yes, I remember it was a really nice apartment to start with, as you yeah. say. Um, now, I remember that you two were here on holiday, and in fact, you were here for a good few months. So, in fact, for you, the whole process was look, buy, complete, and as you say, you were able to move in for a few days mm-hmm. before you left. So, it was yeah. a good, good, good way to work it out, wasn't it, I think? Yeah, it was. It was. But uh, also, you know, we, we were quite prepared uh, when we arrived in November uh, because we had decided to uh, have a look at uh, some of the apartments for sale. We had decided that uh, the complex we would like to look in was uh, actually Yucca Park in, uh, in Playa Fania B, as you said. Uh, and we looked at uh, several apartments there. Uh, but uh, once we saw this apartment, uh, we didn't doubt at all that this had to be the one we chose. So, so just thinking back then to um, when you initially started the ball rolling, thinking we'd like to buy somewhere, be it in Spain or a foreign country, um, mm-hmm. how did you start going about sort of doing any sort of research? I guess it started on the internet, but like most people. Yeah, it did do that. Uh, it started on the internet uh, and we made uh, some appointments. As I said, we were quite convinced that uh, this was the complex uh, we wanted to look in because uh, we, we really liked the area. We stayed in that particular complex uh, about a month for the last six years running or something like that. So we know the, the complex and we know the area quite well. So, uh, and, and you know, I think there was five or six different apartments up for sale at the time in November last year. And, uh, and uh, yeah, as I said, we, we wanted to have a look at uh, all of them right. and we did do that. And, uh, you know, I had my checklist right. uh, where I said, what are, what are the ups and what are the downs for this apartment and that apartment and so on. I know you, came, you did come very well prepared, I remember. Um, mm-hmm. I remember you had an Excel sheet, I think, and you were, does this have this, yeah. this and this? And if it didn't, it didn't matter. It was just a matter, I suspect, at, at the end of the evening, which was best. And if it didn't have that, can we buy it? And does it matter? And I guess that's the way it works. So. Yeah. Okay. So what was your biggest fear when you first started thinking about buying a place abroad? Did you have a big fear, like a big, you know, thinking about that? Uh, well, there is the first time for everything, as we say, yep. uh, and uh, this was the first time that we actually bought a property uh, abroad, uh, away from Denmark. Uh, we have stayed in in the UK for for some years, as you might remember, uh, but uh, then we were tenants. Uh, but uh, you know, we figured out that this process was actually quite different from the process we would go through in Denmark. So we were quite, uh, we, we were prepared because we had studied uh, your advice uh, in your little book uh, where we had got that uh, before we actually uh, went to, um, to Tenerife. Right. Um, as I said, it was a very condensed process. Uh, and, uh, you know, we had prepared the funds from from Denmark uh, and, you know, you had advised us to actually get in contact with uh, a currency uh, transporter, yep. uh, currency Spot direct, exchange, yep. 
Yeah, and uh, and also to uh, have a contact with a local lawyer, uh, which was very important to us because you know all the deeds they are made in Spanish, and so we don't speak Spanish at all. Then uh, it's important to find a person which we can trust. And you used Erica, I think, from Los Angeles. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay, that's brilliant. I've got another question. Um, is there anything? that you thought, oh, that would be a piece of cake, that would be really easy, and then actually turned out to be more difficult than you thought, or perhaps vice versa, you thought that something should be easy and ended up being quite difficult? Uh, no, I don't think uh, we had any surprises in a negative way at all, no. You've pretty much done all of your all of your research and any sort of surprises were already yeah, thought about. Yeah, great. Yeah. Okay. Um, and was there anything then that you thought that maybe you should have done a little bit differently? You'd have preferred to do it a bit differently? Mm, no, I don't think so. No, no I don't think okay. so. It was, it, we'd, we'd like to have had a little more time uh, after we got the keys in right. Tenerife yes. uh, before we had to go home. Uh, but you know, then we had seven weeks uh, in January, February, March mm. until the lockdown actually. <laughs> You were lucky to get a flight out, weren't you, actually? Well, no, 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 that was actually according to the original plan. Okay. Uh, we had planned to go home on the 15th in the evening, on the 15th oh, of March. Right. Okay. And, uh, we had a dinner out in, on the 14th in the evening, and when we then uh, walked down to, uh, to the promenade uh, on the 15th in the morning, then everything was closed down and the beach was fenced, and, you know, there was a police car with a loudspeaker telling all the uh, tourists to go back to the hotels or the apartments. Uh, so so that was well, quite that okay, good timing. It was good timing. <laughs> maybe, maybe you know something that we don't then, Carsten, but <laughs> you don't work, for the, don't work for the World Health Organization, mate. Well, I think it was a bit of luck, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was so last question then, Carsten. Is there, if you say, for example, a family relative or your, your, your best friend's going to buy an apartment abroad, what would your top tip be for them, do you think? Do you have a top tip for them? Uh, find a good real estate agent and prepare yourself. Make the funds prepared uh, so you are actually able to table an offer because, you know, we actually were pretty close to get into a bidding situation with another uh, buyer. Oh, we were, yes. Yeah, uh, and you know, if we hadn't uh, actually done our preparations, then we wouldn't have bought this it's apartment. Likely. I remember you would, have, you would have been left behind actually thinking about it, yeah. I remember it yeah. Well. Mm. Okay. Uh, so, so preparation is everything. It is, yeah. yeah. And that way then you can, as you say, when you are prepared, you can then make a split decision because you've done your research, you've got your yeah. funds in place, and then you can say, well, that is it, let's go. As you say, if you're in a bidding war, um, yeah. as, as it could well have been, uh, you know, could have got a lot worse for you guys there. Yeah, okay. good. Yeah. Well, it's very, very uh, nice of you to spend some time with me, Carsten. Thank you very much. All the, all the best to uh, being it as well. And uh, we'll see you next time that you come over. Thanks very much indeed. Absolutely. My pleasure. Thanks Thank a lot. you. Cheers. Bye for now. Cheers. Bye.